All right. Well, one thing Tom Lee liked doing was paint all different kinds of people, especially people who live in the Southwest. These are Indians. They're Hopi Indians uh, who do a snake dance. Now here, there are different kinds of Indians, right? They're not all the same. There were Apache, uh, there were Comanche, there were all different kinds of Indians. This dance was tied to the Hopi Indians up near Santa Fe. And what they were doing was dancing for the purpose of asking for rain. Do you kind of get the sense that there's lots of dust on the ground, like there hasn't been rain? Can you, the way he painted this, can you get a sense of their stomping and dancing and chanting in their native garb with a snake, the guardian of the spring, a symbol of water? So Tom, we love painting indigenous people and studying them. And he actually did the first drawing for this picture when he was away from home in Chicago, very far away from Hopi Indians. Uh, but he did a drawing thinking about the way they would do their native dance back in the Southwest. Hi, I'm Leslie and I play the violin. And I'm Michael and I play the cello. And we're both members of the El Paso Symphony Orchestra. Today's painting we'd like to talk about is Tom Lee's Snake Dancer. And this beautiful portrait is really interesting because we have some nice shapes and lines that were created by using a paintbrush. The interesting thing about our instruments is that we can create many different sound effects all the while displaying a melody. So in this piece called El Cant de los Cel by Pablo Casals, we are going to kind of mimic each other and share some interesting sound effects. So I want you to see all the different movement and the sounds that we create, just like a painter or an artist uses their paintbrushes and tools to create lines and movement in their art. We use our bows to create different sounds and to help create a mood. <laughs> 